Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Today, Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell. It's a, it's a nice day today, but winter is coming or winter was coming in the, in the guise of a liquid uh, winter by uh, Johnny Walker Diageo certainly isn't ready with Game of Thrones. They initially released this one, the White Walker, which I talked to you about, well, not this summer, but the summer before, and it was mediocre at best. But now Johnny Walker comes back with not one, but two new unique blends. These two, the, uh, the first one is a song of ice and it sports the, uh, the white dire wolf from uh, House Stark on it. And this is actually a blend that is composed around Kleinlich, the Highlander, one of the northern uh, distilleries which reflects the, the Northern uh, Game of Thrones. Seen the show? No, never mind. Kleinlich is in here, together with a lot of other stuff which I do not know about. And then on the other hand, we've got this new one, the Song of Fire. A Song of Fire sports the, uh, the dragon from House Targaryen. And uh, it's a bit of a smoky one in this case because the heart of this blend is said to be Kalila, my favorite distillery on Isla, Kalila. So we've got a Kleinlich, centered blend and a Kalila centered blend but you will remember that I was not very enthusiastic about the White Walker that was released way back when so I'm kind of like careful I'm going to curb my enthusiasm a bit and find out what it is like before you know this one is bottled at 40.2% uh, ABV, while the uh, Song of Fire is bottled at 40.8, so slightly higher. And it's also a lot darker, as you can see. The uh, Song of uh, Ice around Klein Leash, that's a full to old, old golden, while the Song of Fire around Kalila is clearly coppery, amber to copper color. Right, I want to put these head to head and find out whether I prefer the Song of Ice to the Song of Fire or the other way around. Let's start with the Song of Ice, the uh, blend around Kleinlich on the nose. I need some work here. Come on, come on, open up. It's quite closed. Ah, there you are. Well, uh, the typical beeswaxiness is there, might be Kleinlich, but I wouldn't go as far as saying, oh yeah, I get some Kleinlich in here. I do not. I do get lots of vanilla, some, some coconut rocks, you know, those, those cookies, the pastry coconuts. I don't know what you call them in English, but that's what I'm getting here. I also get some popcorn. And underneath, but you have to work for it. You get the hints, the first hints of tropical fruit, like some peach, some pineapple. But you have to work for it. It does also have that typical grain whiskey component in there. With lots of vanilla and caramel. Uh, some chocolate shavings, maybe. It's nothing grand at all, and it needs some time to breathe before it reveals itself a little. And you actually have to work for it, but having said that, it's not bad. Right, on the palate then. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Very sweet. It's got all the hallmarks of a, of a young grain whiskey now. Ah. Ah, it's, it's, ah. I'm not sure how much malt went in there, but this is, this, this, if I were to taste this blind, I'd say hmm, a young grain whiskey, some North British maybe, or uh, yeah, something like that. Not bad, it's got some vanilla, it's got a bit of a, uh, uh, I, I, I get just a tad of, uh, I'll just be honest, this is, this is, meh, doesn't really do much for me. On the finish then. Very short, sweet, sweet on vanilla, some popcorn again, a bit of coconut. And there is again that creaminess, that creaminess that you associate with uh, 
uh, maybe with Klein Leash, but definitely with uh, Grain Whiskey. Eh, this is, um, it's, <laughs> if memory serves, it's not as bad, if I may say so, than the White Walker, but it's not much better either. It's, it's okay-ish. Right, moving on to the Song of Fire. That's more like it. That's a lot more like it. Mmm. I get some chocolate. A hint of red fruit. Some strawberry maybe, like chocolate filled with strawberry cream. That's nice. A bit of cinnamon. And there is a subtle smokiness. This is actually nice. Again, it's not like, oh, there's some Kalili in here, I can tell. No, no, it, it, it's got, but the smokiness is really subtle, but it is there giving this nose a bit of extra depth. The nose compared to the Song of Ice. This is, this is, wow. That's not saying this is outstanding, far from it, but it's a lot better than the Song of Ice. It's got a lot more depth. It's got some, some toasted oak as well, some cinnamon. And even, it's, it's even got a touch umami. It's, it's, it's like a slice of roast beef. This is nice on the palate. Mm -hmm. Creamy, chocolate, red fruit. The smokiness is there and it's, it's not outspoken. It's also got some green notes in there, like, like some, some herbs or garden herbs or something like that. It's, it's, this is interesting. But the mouthfeel is, is a, oh, there's some, oh, here comes the grain whiskey. Ah, in this case, I'd say Cameron Bridge. Not, not that I'm an, an expert on grain whiskies. For all I know, this is something completely different. But this reminds me of a, of a Cameron Bridge I recently tried. But with some smoky notes from the Kalila, most likely. This is not bad on the finish. And that's where this one separates the boys from the men. This is... This is nice. This is good. It's, it's, it's a lovely long, fin medium, medium to long. It lingers, the smokiness lingers, the red fruit returns, some chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. This is nice. Right. Now, the fact that these are, they're not cheap. In my neck of the woods, you will pay around 40 euros for just the one bottle. Let's not forget that this is a blend with probably, I'm, I, I'm not sure, but probably some young grain whiskey in there. And the malt is like, what, this? Well, this is, I do not know, but that's what I'm experiencing. So in my opinion, this is, these two whiskies are actually entry level. They are meant for a young audience to be pulled into the whiskey category, I'd say. Um, they probably mix well. Maybe we should try these with the, uh, I, I can see this one doing well with the new Coca-Cola signature mixer, Woody, for example, uh, and I can see this one go well with the new Coca-Cola Signature Mixer Smoky. Ah, I should give that a try. Because these are clearly, these are not really good whiskies. These are not what you're going to enjoy as a whiskey drinker. If you're a Scotch lover, this is not going to be up your alley. This is for the newbies. No offense, no offense, really. I mean that in, in the nicest possible way. <laughs> but this is not to be enjoyed by someone who's had already like hundreds of scotches and knows his way around scotch, this is not for you. If you're new to the category and you have to choose, go for this one. The uh, Song of Ice uh, around the Klein Lish is mediocre. It doesn't really rock my boat. It doesn't blow my socks off. It's meh. But the Song of Fire is actually nice in, in a very special way. It's got this, this meaty, smoky element in there, uh, some red fruit in there, so clearly some sherry cask if the color is to be believed, but I don't know, but this one at least, as a whiskey lover, I dare put this one on the table and, and pour to my friends. This one I would pour to my mother-in-law. I don't, I don't mean that, mother-in-law, I do not mean it, I mean it in the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an expression, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, Johnny Walker, Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and A Song of Fire. Eh. 
it is what it is. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, nah. And until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.